What's going on everyone? This is Nervon and um, recently just purchased a uh, new uh, computer with uh, Windows 8, the uh, Asus VivoBook 202e and um, basically I just wanted to unbox it for you guys <coughs> this runs uh, like I said Windows 8 and um, I'll just give you more details in a minute but let's just get to the unboxing part As you can see, I'm outside and wanted some better lighting. So, okay. Oh, upside down. All right, there we go. So, as you can see, the first thing, first thing we are greeted with is the notebook itself. It's uh, it's actually pretty. Um, it's not too heavy, but it's not light either. Uh, what we what else do we have here? We got the warranty card. The uh, I guess some registration info. There's a uh, screen wipes, and there's also Windows 8 shortcut keys, which I'll uh, go over for anyone who's new to Windows 8. And then there's the uh, manual. If we go in further, lift this up, we'll see right here. Bear with me. If we open that up. We got the uh, basic charger. Um, I'll pull it out for you. It's pretty nice. It's got like a matte finish on it um, and also a glossy part. Uh, but it's just a it's a very uh, small very small charger which is very nice I, I do enjoy this would be easy to carry uh, you know if going traveling uh, any uh, anywhere the uh, cable is actually very long as well I'll show you in maybe another video um, or maybe this one uh, we'll see but let me just put this put this off this to the side and we'll actually look at the notebook itself so what you're I know what you I know what you're here for so <laughs> all right excuse the thing all right so right here we're just gonna pull it out so pretty tight fit all right so here it is um it's kind of uh an interesting color you can't see it in here but if you see it in person it's kind of it's kind of like a purple it's not really it's like a grayish purple more I would probably say more purple but it's it, it's but it's nice it looks nice and I would I would definitely look at it in person before you take my word for it but it is it, it looks nice it feels nice this it's got an all metal finish right here with uh, a little bit of a matte lining um, a matte gray lighting on uh, lining on the bottom well on the bottom of the well the top really um, but on the bottom it's not plastic it's well it's it's matte and it feels really nice it's very smooth um, just just feels really good uh, it, it, and it's not like the old computers where um, you know it's a hard plastic and it, it gets it's, it's really annoying, really ugly on the bottom. It's not like that uh, at all. One thing I do not like, though, I will tell you, is the fan on the bottom. It's just not smart, I guess. I don't know. It, just to put it on there, because you know, if it's on, if it, if you're sitting on, on, you know, if you're sitting on the couch and you have a blanket and you're you're basically covering up the fan, or you put it on a couch and you're basically covering up the fan, and so it'll get a little hot. But it's it. I don't think it'll be too bad uh, because it's actually a Core i3 processor, so it's not extremely powerful, and it'll, it's just for light usage, really. So it's not going to get too hot. Um, it one thing I sorry, one thing I didn't mention actually. Let me open this up. Is uh, uh sorry, it's actually a touchscreen, uh, and I'll and I'll actually turn it on. And I'll do a first boot, and I'll even go through the whole. Uh, you know the Windows 8 setup process for anyone who you know anyone who wants to see that um, 
it's actually a touch screen and honestly this is my second one of these uh, the first one I had mess uh, had some issues I'll explain that in a later video but um, this is uh, the Microsoft the Microsoft store replaced this for me for, um, for free because uh, you know it, um, I went like a week later and they, it's within the warranty period of a year so I would certainly hope they would replace it but um, you know the, I've used the touchscreen and a, as in real everyday use, and it's actually more useful than you might think. Uh, so if you get a new computer, I recommend touchscreen being on uh, the priority list because it's actually more useful than you think, especially with the new Metro UI with Windows 8. But uh, going into it, it's a glossy. It's not matte. Um, it's not a matte screen, which I know a lot of people like. But with glossy, I think you get a, a better contrast. I'm not too sure but you will get more gloss uh, I mean um, reflection and um, looking at this right here the uh, the insides also aluminum uh, well I don't know if it's aluminum but it's metal it's a metal finish uh, and the keys are very nice actually um, with my previous unit uh, they just have such a good feel to them um, they don't go in too deep they don't they're not too shallow they just have the right feel and it's just awesome uh, the screen, by the way, it's 11.6 inches, and um, so it's smaller than what I'm used to. I usually I only have 15, 15.4 uh, and a 15.6 inch uh, computer, and uh, so this is actually much smaller, much lighter uh, than than what I'm used to. But I do like it. Um, I was actually very, I kind of scoffed at the idea of an 11.6 inch computer at first but um, you know in everyday use this really is not bad and and uh, I didn't even have to get really it didn't take like at all it didn't take much time at all to get used to the keys um, with the placement and everything it was just so comfortable to use out of the out of the box so uh, I don't even remember hitting a key accidentally from where I use, usually use my computer uh, where my keys are on my other computer so uh, Definitely Asus did a good job with that. Uh, but I just realized that I didn't show you what's on what's the port. So let me uh, let me quickly run through that and I'll turn off the video and then we'll do a, a good overview later. But um, so basically right here on the right you have a SD card, uh, micro SD card. Just it's a, I think it's a 3-in-1 SD card reader. Uh, but don't take my word for that. Uh, also a headphone jack right here, a standard. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, uh, USB 2.0, VGA uh, connector. Along the back, there's obviously nothing. Um, right here, you have a uh, power cord, uh, power connector, and you have the smaller Ethernet, uh, smaller Ethernet uh, port. It's actually a full-size Ethernet port, but it it goes down like this when you plug it in, which is nice. Uh, HDMI, USB 3.0, that's the blue, another USB 2.0, and I believe this is a security feature. Um, you can lock the device like that. Um, but yeah, this uh, it's a very solid, solid computer. It's my first computer uh, from with ASUS, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, I've heard some great things about them, so uh, and I've definitely experienced some good things about with ASUS. So. Um, I'm gonna turn this video off right now, and sorry for the for the uh, length of the video, but I will post a better um, a better video with a with a better overview with more software, and maybe even a Windows 8 review later uh, once I get when I use this a little bit more. But um, for now, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, rate, comment, subscribe if you uh, if you like my video. Thanks.